Hello everyone, Jason Alea back here again, and today we got some very, very exciting news regarding Jurassic World Dominion, and that is of our first official clear look at the Giganotosaurus in the actual Jurassic World Dominion film. There's a wide shot with all the characters hiding behind a car, Ian Malcolm Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Claire Owen, basically everybody from all the previous films, including one of the new ones in this one, is all here hiding from this beast. And at first, it looked like an animatronic, but I think this might be a case of CGI, which to me, if I already thought it was an animatronic and I already thought it was real, then that just tells you how good these effects look. The way it blends in with its surroundings and how detailed it is. I mean, this Giga looks absolutely incredible. And the lighting and cinematography here and the way it's shot, my god, I cannot wait to see this creature in the actual movie. Now we got some information about the Giganotosaurus from Empire Magazine and as it reads, across five films the Jurassic series has so far featured a whole host of gigantic fearsome prehistoric beasts and then it mentioned the T-Rex so, and then the Tomb of the Lost World, Spinosaurus, the Indominus Rex and Indoraptor, basically all the major dinosaurs from the previous films. Then it mentions the new Giganotosaurus as the big bad of this one, with living up to the mandate given by Claire Deering, bigger, scarier, more teeth. And yeah, that's basically what the Giganotosaurus is going to be, it's going to be the new big bad of this film. Calling for Joker? <laughs> It's as the, the Giganorse is a creature that wants to see the world burn. Um, is the Giganosaurus going to stab another guy with a pencil in the eye? Oh my goodness. That would actually be kind of funny, but really stupid if that happened. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a weird comparison. And not a comparison that I would immediately think of I'll probably have to watch the movie to know what it means and it and Contravaro does mention Biosyn actually for the first time officially not just from images or leaks anymore now we got confirmation hard confirmation from the actual filmmakers of the movie that Biosyn will in fact be making an appearance in this film I mean, we all know that, but it's good to get some information. Um, it reads, the Giga's home is Amber Rich Biosyn Valley. So, I'm predicting that this area here that we saw in the trailer, and that we saw most of in the trailer, is where the Giganosaurus is going to be reconstructed and rebirthed from the prologue that we saw. And this is where it's going to escape, cause havoc, and all the dinosaurs that are going to escape in this could be because of this one Giga. So that is going to be very interesting to see. And, it's, and it goes on to say Biosyn was a rival company, the engine who paid Dennis Snedry to steal the faithful embryos back in the day. So yes, now Biosyn was the company sure we know that in the book that that's also the company because Dotson but it w I don't think it was ever outright said it was Biosyn in the actual film um, but it's good to but it's very good to know that confirmation there and how that now connects to the first film to this final uh, chapter in this entire franchise uh, Biosyn got the contract to house the dinosaurs that have been captured around the world via various governments. 
Trevor teases of the Dominion plot. They claim it's a research facility where they can study the pharmaceutical. I, I can't pronounce it right now. Values of the animals, but there's some other stuff going on. And among their fold is series newcomer Muhaudu Asi. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man, if I'm butchering your name. I'm kind of bad with names. Playing Biosyn employee Ramsey Cole, a very ambitious and forward thinking young man, the actor T. This I seem like this new character that we've been seeing lately in the promotional images is going is going to be in like the villain side of things and then leaning in towards the hero side or what it sounds like so that's gonna be very interesting to see it all adds up to a very different Jurassic movie one promised in Fallen Kingdom's final minutes when Amazing unleashed the clone dinosaurs in the modern world it's entirely a new movie so, yep, Biosyn is confirmed to be the bad guys officially in name. The Giganosaurus looks absolutely incredible. And we got confirmation of a new character and what his background did. And information about how this film connects to the first. Overall, what I'm hearing from this film so far sounds really, really good. And... I am extremely excited to see how this final chapter of the Jurassic World franchise concludes everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be able to like, subscribe, comment.